So KB like X deleting. So uh, recently I managed to get two quite seemingly good 7740X retail CPUs. And uh, to get the best possible performance out of them, both on Air or on LN2, we have to uh, obviously delete them and use our own uh, thermal paste between the uh, die and the IHS or die and the CPU pot if we are using a direct die solution. And uh, the uh, first one which I bought from eBay seems quite good, so it did even 5.4 in Cinebench R15 with less than 1.35 volts without even deleting it. So 5.4 with Intel team, that's absolutely amazing. And it doesn't seem to run that hot either. So check that. If you can focus. L653B. So that's quite a funny batch if you remember how many weeks there are in one calendar year. 52 weeks and uh, some days. So week 53 is quite rare, but I have seen it a few times. So yeah, so we will be deleting this CPU today. So uh, we will be using the Debauer Delete Time 8X. Uh, I haven't used this myself before. So uh, this and uh, other deleting tools from uh, Debauer are quite expensive. So uh, if you just have like one CPU to delete, it's very wise to ask on uh, like local forums if someone could lend one, even for like a few euros or dollars. It's much cheaper in the end to just loan it for a day or two than buy it for just one CPU. And uh, I just loaned this from another user at our uh, forum at IOTech. So we will be using this uh, tool to delete this CPU. Here's the uh, re-gluing uh, frame. So if you want to re-glue the IHS pack on onto the CPU, you can use this uh, included uh, gluing frame on the Delete Time 8X to hold the CPU in place while the uh, glue dries. But we will be not using this as we will... Uh, I will... Ne I pretty much I never glue the IHS back on because I changed the uh, thermal interface material which I want to use quite often as uh, liquid metal is the best option you can use between the uh, die and the IHS I, as I have said many times before. So if you just want to delete your CPU for normal air or water cooling, just use the best possible liquid metal you can find between the uh, uh, die and the IHS or die and the water plug if you are going to be using a di direct die solution. But yeah, so uh, deleting a KB Lake X CPU is very simple because it's not like those Skylake X CPUs as this only has single layer PCB so it doesn't have that stacked PCB uh, design. So you could just delete the CPU even with just a razor blade, like the mainstream CPUs, but it's much safer to use a deleting tool like this. For Skylake X you have to use a tool like this uh, to uh, delete the CPU safely. So uh, on the Delete Time X there's a, there's a small uh, triangle located over here at the bottom of the uh, where the CPU goes to uh, make sure you align the CPU in the correct way. So we will just follow the uh, triangle over here to the uh, triangle on the uh, deleting tool. Place the CPU in like this. Make sure it's there well and it doesn't move. Then I'll first I'll just use fingers to get the uh, to get the deleting tool like finger tight like that. And we can now we can just use the include Allen key to tighten and here until it pops. It does require a bit of force. never feels like quite fun to deal it. Now, so it really, so it makes, 
it doesn't make that yeah i mean it did not make that loud noise this time but it really like popped the way it became loose so yeah that's how you delete the cpu so if it was a skylake x you would have to use a, a lot of pressure because it's really tight on the uh, cpu due to the uh, glue on the both pcbs and you would even have to uh, revert the cpu one time uh, to delete it like or like put to put pressure on from both sides but yeah so now we can just take the cpu out we can just take the uh, I just so yeah you can see how bad the stock Intel team is so it, it looks like a small layer of dried stuff so it doesn't it doesn't seem good at all now following my many attempts and many times so if you want to use a direct dye solution or if you want to use like a really high-end custom I just you should always remove the glue from the uh, uh, PCB, but as I will be using only the uh, stock uh, IHS over here, and I want to follow the overall guidelines posted by Dankop a long time ago to uh, improve the chances that the CPU or the thermal paste doesn't crack on top of the CPU die, I will keep the uh, glue on the PCB for now, and I might just remove it afterwards. But I will now I will just clean both the CPU die and the CPU IHS and uh, I will use Kimping Cooling KPX between the die and the IHS and then well, I will get on testing the CPU on LM2 and I might just try on liquid metal later as well. On liquid metal I'm now sure that it will do at least 5.5 for Cinebench on water. But yeah, so that's how you delete a Cable Lake X X299 LGA 2066 CPU. So uh, yeah very easy with the tool of course sadly that tool isn't cheap I think it's almost 100 euros at Case King or similar but yeah that's how you use it there are other tools available online for you to use but this is one of them and this is maybe the most famous and popular one so yeah can happily recommend it if you still run <laughs> a CPU like this but yeah so uh, thanks for watching this short deleting video like and share if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.